Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Brando coming at you with another tutorial. Today we're learning Goodbye Yesterday by Elevation Rhythm. Let's get into it. Uh, the song is in the key of A flat, A flat major. Alright, here we go. So the song starts off with a um, with just the guitar, right? Um Da, na, 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 Usually when I play a song at my church, we just I just clap. And I'm just clapping all the time. Na, 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 na. Letting the guitar do it, what they do. And then once it comes in for uh bass, keys to come in, um I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> So all I'm doing, left hand, is just these bass notes right here. Right, that's the A flat bass note. Right hand, I'm doing this type of rhythm here. And all I'm doing is I'm holding on to this A flat in my, in my, on my thumb. Uh, middle finger is doing. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me make sure this thing's, all right, cool. So. One more time. Here's a switch. Okay, so one more time. Eventually they go to the part where they say again and again and again. So here's what I'm doing again. Uh, here's what I'm doing, not doing again, but. So nothing changes in my right hand. Nothing changes in my right hand, but my left hand is doing this. I have, uh, I'm doing fifths, right? Pinky and thumb, right? That's a one. If we're talking about the number system, uh, A flats are one. Four to the three, one over three. Back to the four. I'll show you one more time. On the one. So I would uh, say probably practice that before moving on to the next the next part. So you keep doing that over and over again until they go. They're gonna go through the course and then they're gonna go back to that again and again and again part. This time around, it sounds a little different, right? So what you're hearing is something like this. Right, or even if you don't wanna do octaves, you can do fifths. And what I'm doing here is, um, right, I have octaves plus the fifth in the middle. So when I do this next note or this next part of the chord, I leave this middle finger here on the E flat, right? So A flat, E flat, A flat, G, E flat, G. So now this, I'm not gonna lie, took me some time to get down, but after you get it down, it'll be like muscle memory to you, right? So what I'm doing is hitting both hands at the same time, right? And then I hit this one again. Okay, uh, if you get that down, you can move on to the next part. You're done doing that part. You move on to the uh, two chord. Alright, 
So one more time. that part uh your hand position is going to change a little bit uh so now you instead of doing it from up here here we go same thing but it just looks a little different right this voicing is different e flat a flat Here's the one. Here's the next part. I have decided to fall. All right, so let me explain that part real quick. Um, it's just a one-two chord. Uh, one, two, one-two chord progression. I mean. Right, I'm playing uh, a flat major chord, and then this chord right here is a I want to say it's a B flat major seven. I could be wrong. Let me check. B flat minor seven. Sorry guys. B flat minor seven. Okay, cool. Um, here we go. So I teach beginners how to play piano confidently for their church. Whether you know just a little bit or nothing at all, I can teach you how to get out of that beginner phase and playing on stage at your church within 90 days, okay? So there's a link in the description. Check out the link, all the information you need is there. All right, back to the video. And then you do that over and over and over again until you get to that build, right? For this time, when you do the build, instead of doing and doing that part again, you're gonna alternate between a regular uh, major triad and a sus four. So watch this: sus, six five four, and again. twice there's gonna be some hits right um, all you're doing here is F G A flat and then seven one this is a five over seven chord it's five because I have a five chord in my right hand it's just inverted right same chord it's just inverted. So a five over seven, we call this a seven chord. Seven, one, so. And I like to do octaves in my right hand, so. Again. Then it's two, one. So from a seven, one, I'm sorry. I'll show you one more time. And then Okay. 
So one more time for that part. Then we go. All right, and then they, they say the O. So. And then eventually uh, they get to the part where they say, um, Dan dancing on the day grave that I once lived in. Dancing on the grave when I once lived. Uh, what you're going to do is when it's time for the piano part to come in, it's dancing on the grave that I once lived in. Dancing on the grave that I once lived in. Dancing on the grave that I once lived in. Dancing on the grave. One more time. I'm going to show you that part just one more time. One chord. So two, I could do this as a two, or I could do this, but it depends on what your liking is for the voicing. So again, dancing on the grave that I, three, one over three. Why is it one over three? I have a one chord on my right hand and a three on my left. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, when I say one, three, or four, this is all part of the number system. I actually teach the number system in my beginner piano course, and I pretty much teach you everything you need to know within 90 days how to play piano confidently for your church. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure that you check that out uh, before you leave this video. It's going to be in the description, okay? So back to what we're doing. So, grave that I once lived in, dancing on the grave that I once lived three. To the four, dancing on the grave. This time around, it's a one over five. Dancing on the grave that I once lived. Why is it one over five? One in my right hand, a five in my left. So dancing on the grave, and I want two. Dancing on the three, six, five, four. And that's how you end the song right there. And down the four. Okay, so definitely watch that video back if you need to freshen up on anything. Um, ask questions, by all means, ask questions. Uh, why are you learning this song? Let me know in the comments, what are you learning this song for? Is it for youth group? Is it for church? Is it just because you want to learn it? And uh, definitely like, subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting videos at least two to three times a week, okay? So if there's a song you want to learn, boom, put it in the comment section. I'll take a look at it. I may get to it. I may not get to it, but... Just know that if I do get to it, it'll be because of you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Brendo is out.